We start today with a sad scene along Chicago's Mag Mile this morning. The Chicago Fire Department honored one of their own, Lieutenant Kevin Ward, who died in the line of duty. NBC5's Christian Farr shows us how those who knew him remembered him. The bagpipes could be heard along Michigan Avenue late this morning as the body of CFD Lieutenant Kevin Ward was carried on top of a Chicago fire engine. Lieutenant Ward's body was escorted to Fourth Presbyterian Church, at Michigan and Delaware, where the 27-year veterans fellow firefighters prepared to say their final goodbyes. <laughs> Lieutenant Ward died 20 days after being injured while fighting a fire in Norwood Park back on August 11th. Inside the church. I am truly sorry for your loss, but know that the city of Chicago is standing with you. The mayor offered his condolences to Lieutenant Ward's family, and the fire commissioner said he was a dedicated firefighter who did what he could to protect others. Lieutenant Kevin Ward embodied the very essence of firefighting and the Chicago Fire Department. Lieutenant Ward's former wife talked about his love of adventure, scuba diving, underwater hockey, and his favorite book, The Hobbit. I'm going on an adventure. Do that. Do that in the spirit of Lieutenant Kevin Peter Ward will live on. But it was Lieutenant Ward's 89-year-old father who uttered the most powerful words. Kevin, my son, I watched him take his first breath. I watched him take his last breath. I loved him. I will miss him. Right after Lieutenant Ward's funeral, the fire commissioner talked about the impact of losing more than one firefighter on her watch. Although we've had a tough time, that CFD, we got this together. We can get through this. Along the Mag Mile, Christian Farr, NBC5 News. Thanks to Christian.